Hey guys, so I wanted to film a short video about pizzicato today, um, especially pizzicato for chords. I was playing the Glasnost Concerto recently and I kind of discovered a new technique that maybe some of you know, but I hadn't used it before. I didn't really think about it before, I guess. And I discovered this and it just made my life so much easier. So I thought I would share it with you all today. Um, so basically there's this part uh, towards the end of the third movement of the Glasnost Concerto where um, it's um, several lines of literally just like guitar pit. So you're going up and down. So it's it can be quite tiring for the finger and also there's so much going on in the orchestra there. It's like in forte and you want your pizzas to come through above the orchestra while also like trying to keep your finger intact. Um, so what I realized is that I kind of thought of the guitar pick and how we're trying to mimic that with our fingers. Um, and so I think I was taught as a kid that like I had to use my index finger and it had to be like very straight and so it doesn't like flop around and so you get a more um, a more precise and a stronger pitch. Um, and also when you go up that your finger like doesn't flop I guess because if you do that there's not much sound so almost like a stick so but then I realized like one finger on its own is pretty I mean it's strong especially if you keep it rigid but it's still like not all that powerful so I was thinking you know what's a way to make this finger stronger and then I realized I can use this thumb to help so you kind of put these two fingers together as if you're like clasping something really tight and the thumb kind of goes uh what's the best way to show this yeah so like kind of at this point of your finger so not like this but like this and then it kind of supports that index finger What that does, it gives extra strength to the finger and also prevents it from like flopping around too much in that first joint. Um, so it keeps it straight and I feel like this mimics the guitar pick much better than just having one finger. Um, it's kind of the same shape as well. Um, so like even if you have your bow. So the transition into this passage in the concerto is... And then I take my bow um, and grab these two fingers together and then so there is time with the bow um, to kind of change and then also um, instead of doing um, just this you just take two fingers together I mean obviously not every piece has this kind of technique in it but in the ones that do I hope this is helpful at least I'm really glad that I discovered it and I feel like it really works on stage especially if you're playing in a big hall with orchestra so try it out let me know what you think and if you have any other secret tips of your own for a pizzicato please do share I'll leave it in the comments below or send me a video of it um yeah happy practicing you guys and thanks for watching